Grüße. Been winning since I was on game one go, go, go. Telling me how to live like you made me Go a dog, man, I blame you made me Money longer than a grown-up baby Step crazy in a new Mercedes Seeking that's 550 yeah. Five seats, 50 kids in there yeah. Prime steak on my dinner plate Nike tag for the dinner Where? Yeah. Flex up, never play it Dress up, never, never gonna never. let up Never, ever, 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 ever. Set, up. Set up, play on my fam, get wet up Go, 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 won't let up Never, ever What's up guys? Welcome to today's class. Really excited to be here with all of you. So just please post in the chat where you're from, where you're watching from. Are you new to the show? Have you ever seen me live before? Have you ever taken one of these classes? Let me know in the comments. Uh, love to have that conversation. Also, uh, today I want to focus on doing things quicker in the salon. So we're live today on not only our Facebook, our YouTube channel, also MinervaBeauty.com's Facebook as well. Shout out to them uh, for always being a great sponsor of this show um, and keeping things rolling. So uh, speaking of being faster in the salon, the, this day and age, we're kind of trying to, um, you know, it's all about service. It's all about experience, but at the same time, it's all about speed and quickness, not uh, having to spend as much time per guest um, being in the salon. People want to kind of be in and out. They also want an experience as well, but if you can shave time off of your technique a little bit, it can always help you in the long run. We're also seeing fewer guests, 
because we're spreading everything out a little bit more. So being able to do things a little bit quicker, this can really help you guys. So hope this technique helps. It's gonna be a pretty quick technique today. I'm gonna show you guys from start to finish how that kind of works through, and then that's where we're gonna go with everything. So unfortunately, for some reason, I don't believe the chat is working today on anything. So I'm not seeing anything coming through from you guys. I can see that there are uh, a few hundred people on here, but I'm not seeing any chat. So uh, let's see what happens. But, um, you know, I'll just keep talking. If you don't see me answering your questions, then that's why, uh, because I do not see them. Um, let me see if I can pop up the live feed here. Yeah, so you guys are definitely chatting. I see you guys right here on uh, YouTube, but I'll try to leave this up on my phone so I can see it through that. Let me see if I can reset um, the chat over here and see if that'll work. Um, let me see. Will it work? Will it work? But here's the other thing, guys. So um, it's obviously not working on Ecamm, so I'm not going to be able to throw your chat questions up on the screen. But as long as I can see them, it's kind of all that matters. So I do see, good evening. Uh, what's up, Smomo? What's up? Good to see you on this tiny little chat here that we have. Um, yeah, it's not working. I don't know what's going on with the stuff today. But this is what happens when you do lives all the time. Uh, things break and don't work. But I can still see you guys right here. Mike, what's up from California? Um Lawrence, good to see you. Jersey Noni, I think that's your name. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm not working, so I can attend. Joey, what's up? Good to see you. Um, very cool. All right, so let me pop over to uh, the mannequin, and we can kind of get started on the class today. Um, so first things first, and I'm going to leave. Let's see if I can just put this on the chair. Akshay, what's up? Good to see you. Just through that head, and that was of all your classes. Isabel, thank you so much. Adrian, good to see you as well. Sweet. All right, I'm going to leave that chat right there so that I can see you guys um, coming through. So now, today is about condensed cutting. What is condensed cutting? It's taking sections and really condensing them down to cut more hair at once. Um, I like these techniques for really all hair types, um, in curly hair, straight hair, thick hair, skinnier hair, it really just depends on what you're going for. So what I do is I break down the head into multiple quadrants that I'm going to condense and cut. So I really plan out the cut before I start cutting. Um, so I want to show you guys the walkthrough on that. Anise, what's up? Good to see you. All right. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. So let's break down the sectioning that we did. So what I did was I created a square on top of the head first, um, really following along that parietal ridge area on both sides back to the apex. So when I turn here, you guys can see that it's basically a line that follows from the hairline here all the way up the head around the apex and then back down the other side. Uh, and that's how I split it. So I'll start by creating the square, then I'll create this line at the apex. Then uh, from there, I take a vertical section or parting straight down the center back, and then I split it across the occipital bone on both sides, and then that gives me these top two sections and then my bottom section. So what I'm going to do first, and this haircut's going to happen very quickly, guys. That's kind of the point of this, and then I'll start to blow it dry. So let me show you guys um, how easy this technique is. The other thing I love about this is that we're going to cut kind of standing in front of our guest. So right here. So when you're in the salon, you're going to stand kind of in front or to the side of the chair. I'm going to pull each section up. Now, we have to look at not only our vertical line, but also our horizontal line that we're creating. So if I pull everything up, that's affecting the vertical line. If I shift it over and up, now we're affecting the horizontal and vertical line. So if I want to push weight in different ways horizontally, then I'll pull away from it. And when I pull away from a spot, it pushes extra weight to the opposite side. So hopefully that makes sense. So right here, this is going to be my first section that I cut in the haircut. And I've already, so this is another thing that saves you guys time if you work this way in the salon. When I pre-section this, I sectioned it to already be elevated. So instead of twisting it out and low, and then I'd have to comb through it and work it up, 
already have it combed up, so now it's already ready to go um, as I take each section out. So now I'm deciding, now what length do I want these layers to be within the cut to begin with? So we look at the interior, the shortest point that's going to be about right here. I comb this hair up over towards me on the other side of the chair. So right here, watch as I comb up and over. Make sure the hair is nice and tight. I'm going to pull the hair up towards me, and I'm going to cut a line straight across the top. Now I'm deciding at this point how short I want those interior layers to be. So when I drop this hair down, we've now got layers. The shortest point is here. That's the shortest layer. And then when, as I comb it down, we've now layered that entire section with a balanced line into the rest of the length. So we saved length. So this is the one thing, guys, here. Uh, we saved length within this cut. So the length is still the same. That's why we took that occipital bone out, left it. We kept density because I didn't lift this bottom section. And now I can go in once I cut the other side and cut my length. So now we move over. I grab out this section here. It's already combed up, remember? I'm going to go over here. So I comb everything up, and now my guideline, my guideline is going to come from the opposite side. So I grab just a slice from the opposite side, comb this hair up. Now I can see that line that I want to create. Make sure I get everything from the scalp up. Keep my fingers parallel to that parting, straight up in the air. And cut. Now, what is happening to the layers? Like, what kind of layers are we really creating? Because we're cutting this technically horizontal. So sometimes it's hard for people to envision what those layers look like. So now that I comb this out, we've already cut the entire back, uh, if you believe it or not. Uh, we've already cut the entire back of the haircut. So now when I take a look at what do those layers look like horizontally or vertically, we turn her. I'm going to do my best to stay out of the way. I understand she's got dark hair. So right here. Now I'm going to take a vertical section to check, and really just to show you guys, because you don't really have to check condensed cutting, to show you guys the layers that we created. So look at, see this kind of, it's just like cutting basically straight up in the air, but you're doing it condensed, and you're not having to worry about the shape, because you've already created your shape horizontally, and now you've got the hair that goes short to long. So, this is how I like to look at it too. When you smash the hair together like this, you're almost creating a, a, a little bit more of a curve to this hair. So if you look at how you would cut kind of a concave layer, look at this. So it's very similar to a concave layer. So you get a little bit more of a collapsed feel to it. So definitely one of my favorite uh, techniques to do on longer hair. So now we zoom in here. And after I cut the bottom base area, I'm going to check out your questions, see how you guys are feeling. So let me know in the comments. I'm really just watching YouTube right now, uh, unfortunately, because I don't see the chat anywhere else. So um, I'm going to come right here. My old knees making sounds. So right here, I hold the hair down. And now, because I've elevated everything up and already cut it, takes away density from the bottom. So that allows me to kind of quickly just come in here and flatten out this line. What I would typically do is use my, uh, my client's back and just go through and cut my line. If I wanted it to be a little bit more rounded, I would cut it round. If I wanted it to be balanced and straight, I'd keep it that way. Um, because we're working with a mannequin today, uh, I'm going to hold it in my fingers. But just know that typically I would come through and uh, cut it on her back. Right here, just create a little balanced line in the back. Bringing everything back to me. And again, we've taken away that density, so it makes it really simple.
people to just clean up those edges. If you go through and do the edges first, that perimeter line first, what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself having to um, take it in multiple sections because it's too thick. So doing the layers first, then the perimeter edge just saves you a lot of time. Okay. Now, like I said, this is going to be a quick haircut. Let me just see where you guys are at. Can you talk slowly? Kabat, uh, I can't because I just, I'll, I'll try to slow down a little bit. I'll try to slow down. Uh, concave layer, Anise, yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. Hello from the Philippines. Aral, what's up? Uh, Adrian, good to see you. Isabel, of all your classes, thank you so much. Uh, watching with my cosmetology students. Sandra, that's awesome. Hello, everyone. What school are you guys at? Let me know. Um. <laughs> Sweet. All right, cool. You guys are great. Thank you so much. All right. I'll keep looking back at that. All right, so we got a couple more sections. Let me slow things down for you guys. So... We've got one and two on each side. And what I'm going to do is I can decide, do I want to elevate this a lot or do I want to drop the elevation because it's on the side now? What do I mean by that? There's less density from this point here in the temple to this point here uh, in the parietal ridge, right? So let me go in. What I mean by that is if you spin the head and you look at the density that we just dealt with, which was from nape all the way to the high point. And now the density that we're dealing with is from the temple to the parietal ridge. We've got this much hair compared to this much hair, right? So why would I lift this up and cut it the same way that I cut the back? They're going to have two different outcomes because this is less density. So what I want to do is I want to extend this a little more out and cut it there. It'll still layer it, but it'll allow me to uh, have a little extra weight and a little less um, layered effect. So here's a couple uh, things that you can do with condensed cutting. We've already, that's talking about the vertical. So when you look at this straight on, that's what you're going to be dealing with in the vertical is elevation up and down. Down, more weight, up, less weight. Down, graduation, one length, up, layers, right? So now we understand that. Now we've got to think about the horizontal line, which you'll see on the overhead. So here, so now... Up and down doesn't really matter because you can't see it. You can just see me move my hand, but you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know how high I am on the head, how low I am on the head. You can't really tell. What you can tell is am I more in front of the head or am I more behind the ear, right? Now, if I go here and I start lifting this entire section and move it forward or this way on the head, what's going to happen is I'm going to cut the hair here and it's going to push that weight and length to the back. If I go backwards here and I cut the, all the hair here, as soon as I cut it, it pushes length and weight to the front. If I go straight up in the air like this and cut it, it's going to be balanced and all the same weight is going to fall on the side and it's going to fall evenly. So you got to really decide where do you want that weight to go? Do I want it to fall more back towards the back of the head? Or do I want it to be more balanced? Today, I'm going to stick with balanced. And I'm going to go back to the front view. So just know I'm coming straight out from the head. So I'm going to go right like this. Comb that hair up. And now, I need to decide what my length is going to be. So a couple different things you can do. If you want the same length as the sides, you can cut your guide from the side. So go here, drop this hair down. Now, flip this up, and I can cut myself a blunt line using a tiny bit from the back. I can give myself a blunt edge. Okay. 
just like that. Now that I have this blunt edge, I can lift it up here. And once I lift it up, it becomes more diffused. But now that I know what length I want, I can lift it up and then I can harden this edge by just cutting a little bit more into it. Now I've got a solid guideline at my elevation. Now I can take the rest of this uh, section, whoop, elevate it. Again, let's pretend like we're coming 90 degrees off of parietal ridge, not going straight up uh, on the head shape. I'm coming straight out. I lift the hair up. I've got my guide underneath. I can see it through. So I come through here and I cut a blunt line in the hair. So right here, comb it up, combing underneath, up towards my body. Straight across. Now this is a fun little tip. The reason I'm not combing over top is because every time I do that, I'm pushing the hair down. Where do I want the hair to go? I want the hair to go up. So I comb underneath, scoop all that hair nice and tight, come right up above that parietal ridge area, and I come straight across, and now I've got the elevation that I want, and I work through the hair. I comb the hair down. Length is still there. Everything matches up. I've got a little more subtle layers where the hair is less dense, so now I'm kind of in a win-win situation, for lack of better words. There we go. Now, if I were to pull the hair forward and cut it more here, I'd probably just have shorter pieces, give me a little more of a face-framed effect. But because we cut everything uh, balanced, I get a more balanced, um, not one length effect, but every, all the layers fall seamless and uh, the same length on the sides. All right, now we're gonna move to the opposite side here. Okay, let me check the chat. Why do you cut the eye? Why do you cut the eyeshadow cake? I don't know. I don't remember cutting the eyeshadow cake. Hard to see how high up that first back layer is. Okay, club cutting is over 90 degrees. Yeah, I'm holding it at about 90 degrees. I uh, love how you explain about the sides and how to cut it and why. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it. First live class, Alicia, welcome. Uh, hello from Lebanon. Hello. Helsey, what's up? Um, all right, cool. Sweet. All right, you guys are awesome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging in there. Normally, I don't check the chat on my phone. Normally, I can see it on these screens, but I just have a bunch of blank screens, so today's different. Today, we're doing things different. All right. So, same thing on this side. Oh, dropping the comb. Same thing on this side. Grab a section across horizontally, just like this. Up. Let me see here. And then cut this blunt, right? So we talked about that. I'm going to go in here, blunt cut the side to match up. Give myself a guideline right here and across. Like this and like that. All right. Then it's important this step. Make sure that you lift the side up to give yourself a stronger guideline, okay? When you cut it blunt, you get a blunt line down here, but then you get a shattered line when you lift because that's not how you cut it, so now you're going against that, and now you're showing off what the layering effect is going to look like. What we want to do is go in here and give ourselves a blunt cut just on the top edge of this. So look where it gets where it's strong, in, within the, the uh, section, look where it's strong and look where it gets weak. Just cut off the weak. Leave some of, like where it's strong, you got to leave that. Otherwise, you'll end up with shorter uh, hair than you had. Okay? 
So now we've got that guideline. I let out the rest of the hair just like this. And now I'm going to lift it, comb up, straight out from the parietal ridge area. Up, look for that guideline. I see it nice and strong. I go through and I cut. You could point cut this line as well. If they had curly hair, I'd probably go through and point cut just to add a little softness to the line. Um, if they had thicker hair, I'd probably point cut. Just add a little softness. Okay. Now, here's something fun that I like to do. On this top section, you got a lot of options, right? And you got to figure out how does your guest wear her hair? Does she wear it? Um, off to one side. Does she wear it in the middle? Today, we're going to go center parting because that seems to be uh, the trend with all the, uh, the peeps out there right now. So uh, center-wise, we're going to go into the middle just like this. Just like that. I comb this hair up into the center. Now what happens when I condense this entire section into the center? I cut and get that concave layer effect coming off of it because we're pinching everything together, right? So it's going to give me that layered effect, which I want. It's going to give me a balanced effect, which I want. Uh, if I wanted to have a little shorter in the front, I could just go towards the front a little bit more. That would give me a shorter bit of layers towards the front, longer into the back, which actually sounds like a great idea. So I think I'm going to do that. So today, I'm changing my mind. That's the great thing about having one, having a mind. You can change it. Uh, here we go. So I got this top section here. And what I'm going to do, pull this hair forward. Let me see where my connection point is. That's a lot shorter. I don't really want that short of layers in the front, so I'm not going to use that as a guide. I can blend that in a second a little bit more. None of this hair really wants to fall into the back anyways, so I don't really have to worry about that. So I'm going to bring this forward, and I'm going to decide how long I want this hair to be. You could grab a little bit from this side, use that as a guideline. I could grab a little bit from this side as well. Just have my two connection points. Now I see it through there. Condense this section together. There's my guide. And now I'm going to go through and point cut. And I'm actually going to go to the other angle here. Splice that together. It'll look like I never even stopped cutting there. <laughs> Camera magic. All right, so I pull this hair into the center right here, just like that. And I cut, point cut through. Now I'll recomb because we're starting to lose a little tension as I get past that second knuckle. The schools that are watching right now say so you don't cut yourself, but it really has everything to do with tension. So now, this is the exciting part, guys, because we just cut all that hair off on the top. And now when we comb this back, we've still got length. But we've got some really fun kind of layered pieces going in this haircut now. So it really starts to bring that to life. See that? Fun, fun, fun. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it dry using my favorite Paul Mitchell products. We're going to blow dry this thing, give it a little style, possibly do some dry cutting depending on the end result, how we're feeling about it, and then we will be good to go. So let me know if you have Questions, comments, anything? Let's see. Kabat, thank you so much. Adele, what's up? Good to see you. What else we got? 
Smell still hanging with us. Good deal. And go here. I like seeing all the uh, OGs, the people that are always here. You're the best professor. Thanks. Never been called a professor before. Um, greetings. Your work is awesome. Keep it up. Costas, thank you so much. All right, so I'm using a little bit of Paul Mitchell Sculpting Foam, one of my all-time favorite products, and it makes you feel like you're on vacation because it smells delicious. So I'll run that through, mostly mid-shaft and ends. This is going to be a round-brushed blow-dry here. We'll work this product through, and then... Another product I'm going to use, one of my favorites, is a little thicken up. Uh, this is a great product to add a little bit of volume, a little pop to the hair. I want to put this at the base a little bit and in the mid shaft, just kind of work that in. It's more of a gel-like consistency, not a ton of hold to it, just really is, is meant to thicken up the hair. Um, so you get your hold from the sculpting foam, a little bit of extra volume from the uh, thicken up. All right. So now to start the blow dry, I'm going to just take away some of this top portion. Flip. There we go. Flip that away. I'm going to grab a round brush. have a southern accent today I'm finding it come out quite a bit all right so now we're going to round brush i'm going to work everything up nice and uh as much volume as possible uh, i'm going to play some music for you guys just to have some fun with you the blow dryer gets kind of loud if you guys have questions oh look the chat's popping now hello from arizona what's up vicky what's up check it out Think you need to wear a light colored top, please, as your dark from the mannequin. I hear that if I had a dollar, a penny even, for every time. So, all right. So we're going to go uh, put some music on here and do some blow drying. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see you, see how Rewind, when we rewind Feel so nice, we time
Oh, wasn't that a good song? All right, let me see what else we got here. Is this a good one? Yeah. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low now. If you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike in the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you got to understand that we get one chance, one chance. Another good one. <laughs> I have no idea. There.
All right. Almost there, almost there. One more song. Bathing in the light that you share, you like the sun. Who am I to think how it be? If you were mine, I've been walking with my shades on for so long. I can't seem to get them back on. Cause oh, how I fell in love. Couldn't see it coming, best in my stereo. I can feel it coming, you. So um, I'm just going to work off these last two sections. I don't need to play another song, but uh, really what I'm doing is I'm just working as much elevation into each of these sections as possible. Um, I blue dry a couple sections back on the top, and then the rest of these sections I'm blow drying all forward, so I get more uh, kind of maximum volume in this as well. Go right here. I think you guys can probably already see. I, I wish I could see the chat right now. I'll look in a sec, but you guys can see the, the volume and movement that we have already. That really, uh, that'll give her the, mo <laughs> the most volume there. Nice. Look at that. This is how you recover when your he client's head falls off. You just keep going. The show must go on. So blow dry forward and then last section. Just let it cool a little bit. I like to let it cool before I take it out. Um, so as it's cooling off, it's starting to set that curl in. And then as I let the brush out, this is my Ergo brush available on our online store, Shop FSE. As I let it out, I twist. I don't just drag the brush out, I twist it out, and then I twist a little extra to keep that curl in there. So we'll do that one more time.
go. Max elevation. I do need one more just in the side here since she fell on the ground. <laughs> I give her a little extra love. Kind of blow dry this, curl it off the face backwards. Let that cool. And let's see where we're at with the chat as everything cools down. <laughs> I'm assuming you're laughing because I uh, dropped her on the floor. I mean, it could be a million other things, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Let's see what else we got with this chat right now. I love it. Wow, beautiful. Thank you, Karen. Good to see you on here. Adele. Yes, it's so funny. Love your tunes. Uh, Sandra, thank you so much. Appreciate it. He's having trouble connecting today. Connecting to the chat, yes. I uh, have to watch it on my phone. Normally, it's all over. I have three pointless screens today in front of my face. Um, hey, Adrian. Didn't know that you were here. Okay, cool. Very good teacher. Thank you. Uh, incorporate face framing layers to this cut. Anise, that's a great question. Um, how would you incorporate face framing layers? I actually did do... Uh, face framing layers pretty much on this in that top section. So what you're about to see, let me take this out. Um, as I kind of bring this blow dry to life, let me do that. And then I'll show you kind of how they look as a face frame. So we'll go here. So during a blow dry, besides dropping her on the ground, I try really hard not to disturb um, the curls that I'm putting into it or any of the waves So until the very end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of Awapui Wild Ginger Shine Spray. Um, this gives the hair a little bit of slip, but it's nice and lightweight. So, And what I mean by slip is just ease to put my hands through it without actually putting an oil on my hands. Sometimes I like an oil with thicker hair. Sometimes when drying medium to fine hair. I don't want a real uh, heavy oil. So I spray that on, gives me shine, also allows my hands to work through the hair. So I can kind of just start to bring this uh, blow dry to life. So if you start to see, you know, these layers that we created in this haircut, you'll see that it's just a really beautiful um, kind of pop of layers. And the amazing thing about this cut, guys, is that we literally did it in one, two, three, four, five sections, right? So it's kind of unreal the way condensed cutting can work and you can just see how it all kind of plays out. So let me get a little bit of hairspray in here. These little tricks to me, sometimes people make hair cutting overly complicated. For me, as long as you do everything with a purpose, you can get a beautiful end result with very little effort uh, in it. So let's take a look at the layers. You can see how they move. Beautiful, beautiful end result. For me, uh, condensed cutting is kind of uh, an underutilized technique. All right. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the chat below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's class. I want to uh, just read your comments real quick on uh, YouTube here. Sorry if you're on Facebook today. I'm always, I can usually always see the chat on Facebook um, but to, and all the other platforms, but today I'm having issues with, the, with that coming through. Uh, <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. You're the best, Matt. Thank you, Adrian. I really appreciate it. Hope all is good with you. Um, Adrian's one of our uh, Zoom club members. Like He, meets, he comes in uh, every Monday and is a part of those classes along with Adele and Anise and Karen and uh, Smo. So all of these guys on here, the OGs, 
Thank you guys for always being a part of these classes. If you, if you guys want to be on my Zoom classes, we can see each other face to face. You can cut hair with me every Monday. You can color hair with Brian on Wednesdays. You can do all kinds of different things with hair with Danielle on Thursdays. Um, join our community on freesaloneducation.com. All you got to do is go there, sign up. You can download the app. You got free access. We built an app from the ground up. It's a social community for hairdressers, but also uh, online education. And you get all the links and all of that through that. So go sign up. Thanks, Matt. My students loved it. Sandra, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you for allowing me to be in your classroom today uh, and kind of do my thing and show them some fun stuff. Let's see. Go bathe your stress in some sun. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm actually not that stressed right now. Um, this is, it's a good start to the week. Super excited. I don't know what happened. Technology happens. So whatever. That's okay. Um, but thank you. I appreciate that. And there is a little sun coming out today. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. Um, Adele, you're welcome. Is it Aisha? I don't know. A-I-C-H-A. Aisha? Aisha? You're very welcome. I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, Lawrence, thank you very much. All right, cool. You were cutting a similar style. You made it so easy for me to cut. You are the best teacher. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate it. Simple, sexy cut. Yes. Uh, love how you round brush the hair. This is new to me. Yeah, I don't pull out the round brush that often, but when I do... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I... I like it in certain situations. A lot of times I smooth hair out, uh, but for bigger hair, for vo volume and things like that, uh, ergo round brushes are, are the way to go. Um, okay, cool. So if you guys, any of you guys, um, oh, Stephen, awesome. He said, I finally received my package I ordered from FSE Shop. Uh, Shop FSE, that's what I was just about to talk about, is our online store. Um, the combs, the clips, scissors, uh, the tri razor, um, which is right here. This is our patent pending razor cutting tool. It's got three different cutting sides. You can cut 100% of the hair, 25%, or 50% of the hair. Uh, it's a super fun tool to cut hair with. So if you guys are looking for some new tools, Ergo brush that I use to round brush, uh, go to Shop fse.com shop free salon education.com uh, or just go to free salon education.com and click on the shop all right of how fast this whole th this was alicia this is exactly it like we got to figure out how to do things just a little bit quicker but have beautiful results that's the key so not cutting corners um but just doing things a little bit different having a different thought process to uh get your end result all right um, how can I book an appointment with you? I don't take new clients, uh, Pam, but, um, so unfortunately, but, uh, one of the great things about our online app is that people that watch these classes and do these haircuts, um, we put them on a stylist locator. So if you have a profile on freesaloneducation.com, that means that you also have a public profile on stylistlocator.com. You just put in your zip code and it will show you um, who is in your area that's a part of our community. So um, hopefully that's the way that we can start spreading uh, good hair all over uh, the world. All right. Sorry, I missed. I will watch now. Will this cut work well with scrunched wavy hair? For sure. Uh, so this cut will work well. Just understand that you might do things a little bit longer uh, than I did because of the fact that it will shrink up. So you don't want to have super, super short layers throughout the cut. So uh, just be aware of that. But other than that, you should be good to go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm live here every Tuesday, 1230 Eastern Standard Time. Again, I'm also live on Zoom uh, Mondays. Brian's live on Zoom tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Uh, just go to our website and you can figure out the link by signing up. Uh, and then you can just hit count me in. You'll get a reminder about the class. Uh, and Danielle's got a class coming up on Thursday as well. Tons of free education. We also have all the past classes on the app. 
and all of our past videos as well. So tons of stuff. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get an alert as soon as I go live. Or if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you follow, like, share this video. Uh, and please, guys, do me a favor. Anytime you see one of my videos on the internet, just hit that share button. It, it really helps kind of push this community to make it bigger and bigger. Um, so just a little effort of just hitting that share really goes a long way for uh, what we do uh, for free salon education. So thank you, guys. Enjoy your day. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next class. Thanks so much.